This is the part 1 video of muscle contraction. In order to understand muscle contraction, we have to understand the structure of the muscle. So, this is a muscle that is the organ which is composed of a bunch of fascicles. And one fascicle contains a bunch of muscle fibers or muscle cells. And one muscle cell contains a bunch of myofibrils. Now if we zoom into one myofibril, we can see the inner structure of myofibril. Myofibril contains different type of protein structures. These are the Z lines or Z lines. Z line is made up of alpha actinine protein. Between two Z lines, the region is called the sarcomere. Sarcomere is the unit of striated muscles. This unit sarcomere repeats between two Z lines throughout the muscle myofibril. And these are the thin filaments. Thin filament is made up of actin proteins. These thin filaments are present in every sarcomere and it is made up of the actin protein or it is also called actin filament. Next comes the thick filament. Thick filament I am showing in red. The thick filament is made up of myosin protein and it is present between the thin filaments and this thick filament is made up of the myosin protein or it's also called myosin filament. The thick filaments are attached to Z line by some protein. This protein is named or this protein is called the titin protein. Now, between two Z lines, the region, the sarcomere, which contains thick filament and thin filament. Now, let us zoom into one sarcomere to understand the detailed structure of thin filament and thick filament. Now, we will zoom into the sarcomere and understand the detailed structure of actin and myosin filaments. So I am drawing only one sarcomere between two Z lines and at first drawing the thin filament or the actin filament and these ball like structures are the actin subunit of the actin filament. These are called the actin subunit. The thin filament contains two more components. This green line which I am drawing, it is the tropomyosin structure which actually covers the myosin binding site of the actin subunits. Actin subunits have some myosin binding sites which are covered by tropomyosin and these structures in red are the troponin structures. They are calcium binding site of the muscle. The calcium can bind to the troponin during muscle contraction. So this is the full structure of the actin filament or thin filament which contains three components actin subunit, tropomyosin and troponin. Now coming to the thick filament which is the myosin filament. One myosin filament contains two binding sites. One actin binding site and the other is ATP binding site. Now there are a bunch of myosin filament is present and the heads of the myosin pops up like this and makes the whole myosin filament or the thick filament. This is the myosin filament 
or the thick filament containing actin binding site and ATP binding site. During the muscle contraction, these actin binding sites binds with the actins. So this was the structure of the muscles discussed here. In the next video, the part 2 video, we will discuss how the contraction of muscle occurs. So see you in the next video. Thank you.